So I've been making some Unreal Engine tools to help me with my own projects. This tool is for comparing data tables and telling you the name of missing rows. I'm using the uh, editor utility widgets for this. And as you can see, so here it is, I can pop a data table in the left, a data table in the right hand side. And then if I compare them, it's gonna tell me that this one on the right is actually missing the gun row. So if I open them up, so that's that one. And then we have the second one and you can see it's missing the rows. I currently have the tool working in 4.26, 4.27, and then also in 5.1 as well. So if you're interested in it, I made it completely free and you can download it now. Just head over to github.com, search for Unreal Engine dash tools. And then currently the third one down, we're looking for this one, CB game developer, Unreal Engine tools. If you click on that, and then we head to code, local, download zip. We're going to need to extract this so you can show in folder and then right click on the file, extract, extract. And what that's going to do is open up here. And if we dig down a little bit, we're going to get to this. So these are the three versions that are supported 4.26, 4.27 and 5.1. If I go to my project, which is a 4.26 project. So I'm just going to right click and make a new folder called tools. Now I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to go show in Explorer. That's going to open up that file location. If I open up uh, the zip again and I copy the 4.26 into my project, it is as easy as that. So now if I drill down a little bit, you see I've got the tool. So I'll show you how it works. Basically, if we right click and we go to run editor utility widget, we're going to bring it up. There's two, two major parts to this. So on this left side, this is going to be the data table that we compare everything against, the most important one. And then on the right side, it's an array, so we can add more than one. But this is the data table we're going to compare and see if anything is missing in. So we filled in those two and we do run compare check. And it appears here, test item sound is missing gun row. Now the cool thing here is any of these three data table guys here, we can double click on to quickly open it up. If we look here, test item has these two. And if I open up the one we were comparing it against, you can see gun is in this, but not in this. And it's telling us it's missing. So that's a quick way to tell. So I want to expand this whole system uh, and I was checking the same things over and over. So I made this the use preset button. So we've got a little drop down here. And every time we run it, it's going to fill in a, a kind of preset one and it's going to run it automatically. So funnily enough, the way we set this up is another data table. If we drop down into this folder, you can see this data table called data table compare presets. Now we can add and remove rows from here. You can get rid of mine completely. But if we add a new row, this row name, initial row name doesn't actually matter. Uh, it's just to help keep things named well. So this is a pretty name. So this is just gonna help you work out what this is actually doing. We'll call that as test just for a test. And then, so this here, is mimicking this left and right. So the main one is this guy here. So again, we'll use our test items one. And then again, this is an array. So we, in theory, can add whatever we want. So I'm gonna do workbench and scrapping sounds in this. So if you come over here straight away, it's not gonna work. We need to save, close that down. And then we need to rerun our utility widget. So we run it now and we come to our preset, use presets, you see we've got another one. So we have our preset working and it automatically ran it. This UI looks slightly different between 5.1 and 4.26 and 4.27, but it's exactly the same behind the scenes. Just uh, Unreal 5 looks different. And that's it. Uh, I hope it helps in your project. And let me know if you have any ideas on how to improve it.